Hey Scorpios, welcome to your love reading from July uh, today, July 16th to the 23rd of July for Scorpio, Sun and Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. It's funny Scorpio, I went to start your video and all of a sudden I heard all kinds of crazy noise outside and it was like, oh boy. <laughs> and Scorpios, tapping into your energy, there's, there, there's some shit going on that you are just, you're very much on the defensive about, okay? So first and foremost, you have got your energy shields up. You've got your defenses up. I feel like you're not even really engaging a whole lot with people. You're very suspicious of people right now. It's actually what I'm getting. You're very suspicious of people, very cautious of people. It doesn't hurt to be cautious, but your your defenses are up and you're ready to strike anybody that looks at you wrong, okay? Um, Scorpio, and after feeling that energy, I heard train wreck and how dare you. So yeah, this is going to be a juicy Scorpio reading. <laughs> This is probably going to be a very venomous Scorpio reading. Uh, Scorpio, I feel like you've been a part of a situation that you just knew was a train wreck, knew was a disaster, and it's like it, it's like you're seeing it come back your way. Um, you might be looking at somebody like they're a train wreck, like they wreak nothing but havoc and chaos and destruction. And I think they've caused a lot of that for you in the course of your life, or at least in your recent past. This does feel like a Lazarus and it is Lazarus season. All right. So just is how it is. But Scorpio, you are so on the defensive with them. You're so on the defensive. I heard that so strong. How dare you? How dare, how dare you? How dare you? Right. Um, so you might be finding out information about maybe more of what this person has done to you or gaining more clarity on the situation, but I feel like it's more about them just appearing in your existence, okay? Or reappearing in your existence like Houdini, all right? That's kind of, that, just them doing that is offensive to you. So let's get into the pre-shuffle. We have King of Swords, Aquarian energy, could also be Gemini or Libra. With Temperance, more Sagittarian energy. Wait, more Sagittarian energy. Did I say Sag for this? You might be doing the straight up Sag. That's funny. I didn't mean to say it like that. So King of Swords with Temperance. Sag energy, Gemini energy, Libra and Aquarius. Don't know why I said it like that. But anyway. And the Seven of Cups, Scorpionic energy. Then we have this little fun batch come out together. If this doesn't just say it all. Five of Wands in reverse, Leo energy. Seven of Wands, more Leo energy. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy, and then Nine of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy. You do have three sevens in your pre-shuffle, guys. Seven, seven, seven. So just keep that in mind if you've been seeing that. And then we end with a Knight of Swords, Gemini energy. Could also be air or fire. So yeah, right out the gate, this person... This person's coming in to make amends. This person is going to claim they've healed. And I do think that they're probably right. But they want to heal the situation. They want to balance out the situation. Uh, temperance for me is also like divine intervention. My fix-it angel trying to come in and fix the situation between you and this King of Swords individual. But Scorpios, I feel like you're so not having it. You are so not having it. I can feel it. You're so like, what's the word? It's almost like your anger is, is like a hair trigger right now. It's not going to take very much to get you upset. And with the Seven of Cups... There's been a lot of confusion between the two of you, and I do feel like you have a lot of options right now, Scorpio. You could be dating a lot, or you could just have a lot of options in your career or whatever it is that you're focusing on right now. But whatever this person is bringing to the table, it's just adding more to your to your plate, which you also don't like, which is also pissing you off and also kind of upsetting you. You're, you're kind of in a pissy mood, Scorpio. I'm not going to lie. I can feel it. You're kind of in a pissy mood. But you are looking at your options here of how to handle this situation. I just heard handle with care and handle with gloves. Okay. Oh, focus. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, whatever they're bringing to the table, Scorpio, you're looking at every which way you can to handle them. But there's emotion here. There's a lot of emotion behind it. And I feel like that's because this person has, you know, caused some havoc in your life, caused some destruction in your life, made you very unhappy, and you're already kind of agitated. So they're coming in at a really poor time. Honestly, they could have come in at a better time. Um, but either way... You're looking at the options that you have and trying to figure out what to do about the situation. I also feel like they're bringing a sense of fantasy to the situation. This person might be very fantastical. It is Aquarian energy. So, you know, that kind of energy is usually about fantasy and thinking outside of the box, right? Doing something atypically. Um, but there is a sense of fantasy they're trying to bring to the table, which you're not buying. You're not buying that. You're not buying what they're selling in that regard. But with this energy... Here's you being very defensive, very defensive because of the fighting and conflict that's already taken place between the two of you. I'm also getting a sense of competition and rivalry, okay? This could be someone in your workplace for sure that maybe you've tried to 
you know, maybe you guys were both going, Jesus, maybe you guys were both going for the same promotion or the same job. Um, but also getting a sense of maybe there's been a lot of competition and dating on either one of your sides here, okay? But right now, Scorpio, if that's the case, you've got the options they don't. And you're being very defensive, rightfully so, rightfully so. With the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, and the Nine of Cups in reverse, you're looking at the past and you're looking at what has transpired and where your efforts have led you with this person. And it only led you to disappointment. It only led you to disappointment with them. It's just like, it's a bad investment. They've been a bad, a bad investment. It's like they're bad. They're a terrible liability um, for you. That's how you're feeling about it, which is why you're just like, yeah, don't, don't step any closer. How dare you even step to me? You're very pissed off. You're very pissed off and you're very ticked by this person's existence right now. And with the Knight of Swords, there's going to be communication of truth happening. Um, it is very blunt, though. <laughs> it's very blunt. It's very blunt communication. I feel like there's a history of that between the two of you, of blunt communication. I think they're the ones who kind of started that trend in whatever kind of relationship or, or partnership this is with you. And you followed suit because... You weren't going to let someone talk to you like that if you were going to talk to like that, talk like that to them back, right? So now it's almost like you two don't know how to communicate unless it's very blunt, very direct. Oh, please focus. Unless it's very blunt and very direct communication. But there's truth here. There's truth coming in, but keep in mind they are coming in to try and mend a situation, balance out the situation. You just don't trust them. You just don't, you don't trust them as far as you can throw a rock. You know, you just don't trust them. You just don't trust them. Uh, I know that's not the saying. I don't know what the saying is, but it's on the tip of my tongue. But you guys know what I'm saying. You don't trust them. All right. All right, Scorpio. So let's get into this. For anybody who has any questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, go ahead and check out the link below. Okay. Any messages from us Scorpios regarding love from now until the 23rd? Any messages for Scorpios regarding love from now until the 23rd? Any messages for Scorpios regarding love from now until the 23rd? Any messages for Scorpios regarding love from now until the 23rd? Okay. Any messages for Scorpios regarding love from now until the 23rd? <laughs> oh my God, that's funny. They just showed me a, scor a scorpion underneath a rock like this <laughs> yeah you're definitely on the defensive i love that <laughs> three of pentacles capricorn energy so there's there's definitely some discussions happening here and it feels like discussions some talks some talks are being had here scorpio oh you are so <laughs> you don't want to be a part of these talks you do not want to be a part of these talks. There's um, there's a sense of wanting to to really um, get on the same page with you, Scorpio. I, <laughs> you might even be shaking your head as they're talking. Uh, Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy, could also be Pisces or Scorpio. I do feel like this is your energy. Yeah, Scorpio. Uh, they want to get on board with you. They want to get on the same page with you. They want in with you. They want in with you. They want to talk to you, okay? They want to talk to you about possibly trying to build something again, um, about moving forward in something again, because they see you as someone who can nurture that. They see you as someone who can nurture that and as someone who's very kind and someone who has a very big heart. And Scorpio, you do. Scorpios have very big hearts, even though Scorpios get a bad rap for not having a big heart. Scorpios just love very deep, but they also don't suffer fools, all right? So people kind of get those two confused. Um, but let's keep it going. Ten of Wands in reverse, Sagittarian energy. Yeah, you don't want this burden. You let this burden go already, and you consider them a bur the burden and whatever they brought to your life. You already let it go. And it's almost in your head like, why would I sign up for this again? Why? Why would I sign up for this again? Let's see what else we got here. I'm not taking those because that's too many. Yeah. Ace of Swords in reverse because they brought too much illusion to the situation. They didn't bring enough truth. All they brought was bullshit. Not bullshit. Okay, I'm being blunt. I'm just really in your energy right now, Scorpio. They brought illusions, confusions, and even some lies. And you're done with that. You're done with that burden of that. You're only going to take truth. You're a Scorpio. You're only going to take truth. Let's see. Any other messages for Scorpios? 
Oh, Knight of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. Inappropriate lover. Hardcore inappropriate lover. Um, inappropriate lover to me is someone who gives it all away to everyone and their mama or doesn't give anything at all. Okay? That kind of energy, that kind of behavior this person had with you is what caused a lot of the illusions, the lies, the confusions. Their mouth was saying one thing, but they weren't giving anything up. I feel, yeah, I feel like it's more that. They weren't giving you what you felt you deserved as far as emotion is concerned. And all it did was cause more illusion and confusion as far as to what you guys had. And it became burdensome for you. It was a, it was a guessing game. Thank you. It was a guessing game. Guess who? <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever played that when you were a kid, but that was a game when I was a kid. Guess who? You're playing guess who with this person and you're, you were tired of, of trying to figure it out between the 30 some people that they kept claiming they were. Wow. Yeah. Oh my God. Such an analogy. Yeah. That's very much how you feel about this person. Like, who are you really? <laughs> that's really how you feel. Who are you really? I can't guess who you are. I can't guess what you were trying to do with me, what you're trying to do now. You're tired of the guessing game. Any other messages for Scorpio? The person with many faces. Any messages for, oh my God, sorry, I'm getting a download. Scorpio, this person for you, like it was someone who did have many, many masks and they put whatever mask they had to put on at the time to appease you and you caught on to that. It was too burdensome. Any messages for Scorpio regarding love from now until the 23rd? <laughs> That's it. Oh, I look who made a reappearance. Overall energy, the King of Swords. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. Yeah, this is definitely them coming through really, really strong. Highlighting your reading here. Strongly highlighting your reading. That, that's how much it's upsetting you. They've dominated your reading, okay? They're the overall energy. You're really ticked off this per you're Oh my God. Some of you are like, you have some nerve. <laughs> You've got a pair. You've got a pair on you. Um, let's look at the Three of Pentacles. And see what's going on with that. All right. Let's use Rider Waite to clarify. Tell me about Three of Pentacles for Scorpio. And it's interesting, too, that they're coming across as a King of Swords. Because King of Swords is not usually warm and fuzzy. They have emotion. They're just not warm and fuzzy. And that was part of the issue, right? And they're still presenting that way. And I think that's, tri yeah, that's triggering you a little bit. That's triggering you a little bit. Tell me about Three of Pentacles. Scorpio regarding love from now until the 23rd for those where this isn't a Lazarus situation I feel strongly it's very much a Lazarus situation because there's such a history but let's say you're just in kind of separation right now like let's say you're married or living together and you're just kind of taking a break um you're, you're just so sick of the burden, you're ready to just walk away. You're just ready to walk away. And this eclipse energy is probably pushing you to do that. Tell me about Three of Pentacles. <sighs> yeah, Seven of Wands in reverse, uh, Leo energy. You used to have your defenses down with this person, and they want you to let these defenses down with, with them now. <sighs> I know, Scorpio, some of you are like, excuse, like, what? <laughs> That's what they're, that's what they want. They want to be on the same page with you. They want to start discussing with you. They want to have conversations with you about possibly try, trying, you know, trying to fix it if you're still with them. And if you haven't been with them for a while of rebuilding something together, but you have your defenses up strongly. But when you guys were starting out, like, let's say if you're still together, when you guys were starting out, and for those of this is a Lazarus, when you guys were together, you had your defenses down. You had your defenses down because that's what you do <laughs> in relationships, right? And they blew it. And they want you to take those defenses down now. And I, it's really hard for you, Scorpio. It's really hard for you right now. Tell me about Three of Pentacles for Scorpio regarding love from now until the 23rd. <laughs> Scorpios, you guys are cacking me up. Uh, tell me about three of pentacles i can hear you guys like making all these little like sarcastic comments i won't say any of them i you know i gotta stay focused tell me about three of pentacles for scorpio regarding love from now until the 23rd scorpio you were very loyal to this person remember this can always be vice versa too tell me about three of pentacles for the partner of scorpio from now until the 23rd Tell about Three of Pentacles for the partner of Scorpio from now until the 23rd. Tell about Three of Pentacles for the Scorpio. Oh, okay. 
Overall energy, we have nine of pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy underneath that. Oh, look, seven of swords. Aquarian energy. Some of you, this person cheated on you. Straight up. Straight up. Some of you, this person totally sabotaged whatever you two had. Just for the sake of having some fun, for the sake of running around. Like I said, an appropriate lover, giving it to everyone else and their mama, right? Too much of a burden. Way too much of a burden. For a while, they did cut down your self-esteem and confidence. They did. They did. But you've come from under that. And your and your defenses are up and because you've got a lot more confidence back and a lot more self-esteem back and you got a lot more self-love for yourself now. Uh, yeah, Scorpio, I see you saying a hard no to this person, honestly. And for those that don't, it's gonna it's it's gonna take you a while to say yes. So let's look at this energy: the Ten of Wands in reverse, Ace of Swords in reverse, and uh, Knight of Cups in reverse. Look at the Ace of Swords. Let's look at the Ace of Swords here. I'm gonna use Gilded Tarot to clarify. Tell me about Ace of Swords in reverse for Scorpio. Regarding love from now until the 23rd. Tell me about Ace of Swords in reverse. For those where there was a cheating situation, it left you really embarrassed and left you really humiliated, especially because you were loyal to them. Tell me about Ace of Swords in reverse. Yeah, and if you humiliate a Scorpio, yeah, good luck there. Tell me about Ace of Swords in reverse for Scorpio. Regarding love. From now until the 23rd. And like I said, if you have been with this person for a while, you're you're basically ready to drop the burden of this. Tell me about Ace of Swords in reverse. Magician in reverse. Mercurial energy. So Virgo, Gemini could also be Aquarius, Scorpio. Divine masculine energy. Major trickster energy here. Major trickster energy. Tell me about Ace of Swords in reverse. <laughs> I just heard, look over here. Look over here. Look over here. This person probably tries distraction, excuse me, distraction tactics in conversations, especially because they are coming across as a king of swords. They're very, very communicative. You got a big talker on your hands. Um, and I, it's so funny because I've seen that tactic used a lot. Okay. Um, it's basically like, they'll just start talking about other things just to get you distracted off the point. Even if they have to poke a button and get you upset about something else to get you off of the point um, that you were on, the thought train you were on that was leading to some clarity to keep you in that illusion, right? Tell me about Ace of Swords in reverse for Scorpio. Wow, Page of Wands in reverse, ba my bad news card. My bad news card. Oh, excuse, oh, excuse me, guys. Um, it's also very like snide commentary is what I'm getting. Like, you know, the <clears throat> kind of commentary. Oh, oh, actually that made me need water. Give me a second. Mm. Scorpio, this person talked behind your back. And if you're still with them or still dealing with them, they still talk behind your back. Yeah, I don't, yeah, you, yeah, you don't trust this person. And for good reason. Someone who's a trickster, they use distraction points with you. They really, it's pretty much manipulative. It's a very manipulative energy and they're talking shit behind your back. No, you don't need that. No one needs that. No one deserves that. Tell me about Ace of Swords in reverse for Scorpio. Oh, hold on. Got a couple peekers. There we go. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Tell me about Ace of Swords in reverse for Scorpio regarding love from now until the 23rd. Tell me about Ace of Swords in reverse for Scorpio regarding love from now until the 23rd. Okay. We have Empress in reverse, Libra energy, Taurus energy, Divine Feminine energy with the Six of Pentacles, Taurian energy. Four of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy. And then we have Page of Cups, okay? Overall energy for the Ace of Swords in reverse. We have the Two of Swords, Moon and Libra energy. Underneath that, Emperor, uh... Aries energy, Taurus energy, divide masculine energy with the Ace of Cups underneath that as the overall energy for this Ace of Swords in reverse, okay? Uh, Scorpios, I feel like you've been kind of blind to this for a little while. That will, wait, hold on. They've been blind to this. Thank you. They've been blind to this. There's a hell of a lot of love lost 
There's a lot of love lost here and a lot of ego fueling this emperor who's also this king of swords, okay? So emperor, for those who are not aware, is a very um, patriarchal kind of energy. Um, it's someone who usually runs their own business, CEO, manager. They can usually be a father figure, grandfather figure. It could be a boss even. But either way, they've been very blind um, to how you've reacted to this situation, and again, it's like that fantasy, right? That fantasy that they keep bringing to the table. You have fallen out of love with this person, honestly, Scorpio. That's how it's coming across to me. You've fallen out of love with them because they definitely hurt you. They hurt you. They kept you stifled. They kept you under. And now you're not having it. You're not having it. Um, they might claim that they want to fix things with you, but you're finding your own balance. Oh, come on. You're finding your own balance and you're letting things go. They do want to come forward with an apology, but Scorpios, you're not buying it. You're not buying it. I can feel it. You're so pissed off. You're so pissed off and you're so mistrusting of them because of what they did. Because of what they did. They talk shit behind your back. For some, they cheated on you. They kept manipulating you through through words. Through words is really what I'm getting. And, and some emotional manipulation there as well. Even if you are the empress to the emperor, there's a lot of love lost here. A lot of hurt. And a lot of you were humiliated because of this person's actions, especially those that were cheated on or, who, you know, they were messing around on the side. You don't need the burden anymore. You want to let go of the burden if you've never walked away from this person. If you already walked away from this person, you're not taking on that burden again. You don't want to. You definitely don't want to. You know, mm, I was going to pull cards and I was like, no, that's, that's pretty much, yeah, that's it. It's very clear cut, Scorpio. Very clear cut, and I think you're going to tell them so. I think you're going to tell them so. But they do want they do want some kind of balance to be to happen between the two of you. But I don't know if this person really means you well, to be honest. And intuitively, you'll know, Scorpio. Intuitively, you'll know. So let's go ahead and pull some advice from the Spirit Animal deck. Use your intuition, okay? Wouldn't be surprised if we get an intuition card out here. Any advice from us Scorpios regarding this spread? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> so I shuffled these cards and then it ac accidentally moved the Empress to the upright position. Ha! <laughs> I love it, Scorpio. I love it. Keep rocking that. Keep rocking that. <sighs> yeah, this person likes to live in their own little fantasy bubble. I think that keeps them... Um, it, really involved in their antics like really keeping up with their antics as long as they don't ever have to see reality or the consequences of their actions they don't ever have to feel bad about it right any advice for scorpio regarding this spread any advice for scorpios regarding this spread any advice Oh, I love it. Cow spirit. The miracles are endless. 15 breaking down to a six. And we also have, oh, everyone's been getting this one. Mouse spirit, 10 to the small things. 40 breaking down to a four. Scorpios, you've been on the fast track to abundance and stability in your life. Keep your focus there. That's what I'm getting with that. You have a lot of abundance coming your way. You've worked hard on it. You've kept your focus there. Keep maintaining that focus. Keep maintaining that focus. <sighs> You might be, t some of you might be tempted to think, could this person add a lot more to my life if they really mean what they say? If they really mean what they say, sure. But do they really mean what they say? Your intuition is going to tell you. And I think for most of you, it's going to be, no, they don't mean what they say. Okay. There's also been a lot of hurt here that even if they meant it, I think Scorpios, you're going to feel like there's been so much damage done that it's like, how could I even learn to trust again? The advice is very clear. You have abundance coming your way. You have stability coming your way. You've worked hard on it. You've worked tedious, tediously, excuse me, tediously, is that a word? Tirelessly. You've worked really hard on it, okay? You've worked really hard on it. It's still coming your way. Don't stop. Because especially with mouse spirit, it's always about like the very small details, right? The fine tunings of things. You're so close. You're so close. Any other advice for Scorpios? regarding this spread and you know for a lot of you Scorpios this this work you've been doing towards your abundance and your own stability whether it's been in the form of self-growth whether it's been in the form of your career your happiness your self-confidence what have you they've noticed that they've noticed that and I think for a lot of them it's actually bringing them in 
because they want a little piece of it. Any advice for Scorpios? Oh, yes. Horse spirit, freedom is yours. I just heard you don't answer to anybody. <laughs> Oh, I love that. Scorpio, you don't answer to anybody. You don't owe this person anything. You don't owe this person anything, right? Freedom is yours with that master number. You're free to do whatever you want. And especially with this abundance coming in with cow spirit, it's, def <laughs> it's definitely allowing you to do whatever you want so that you don't have to answer to anybody. All right? You're free from them already. Don't make, some of you are gonna okay some of you this person is a bit of a narcissist some of you are, feel like this person gaslighted you a lot or like made you feel some sense of obligation no you don't know them anything any other advice for scorpios <laughs> a lot of advice scorpio chameleon spirit act as if 14 breaking down to a five here this is about adaptability adapting to change adapting to your environment and going with the ebb and flow of it and you're going to be doing that beautifully okay when this person's going to trigger you, Scorpio, okay? So just keep that in mind. Don't let your emotions kind of get the best of you here. Stay grounded so you can adapt to this situation. You've overcome a lot with this person and a lot in general, Scorpio. Scorpio is about a, kind of a tough year so far, right? A lot of towers for Scorpios. And yeah, you guys, you know, you are used to towers because you are Scorpios, but it's still been a lot. It's still been a lot. And I know some Scorpios have really struggled with depression, You've gotten through a lot. Look at where you've been and what you've adapted to so that you can recognize that you don't have to deal with this person if you don't want to, right? Because you know how to roll with the punches. You know how to roll with the punches. And you're not going to let this person make you feel obligated because you have your freedom and you deserve to hold on to your freedom. Oh, come back. There we go. And I think a lot of you are actually really enjoying singlehood for those who are not married. I feel like a lot of you are actually enjoying your singlehood and not feeling obligated to anybody and not feeling tied down to anybody. Any advice for Scorpios regarding this spread? This person's going to remind you of that. <laughs> they just told me that. For those who are like, you're kind of in, like, kind of like in singlehood, but you are playing the field, this person's going to remind you, oh, that's why it's good to be single right now. <laughs> that's how bad it could be. Any advice for Scorpios? And I'm not saying I'll really. Sorry, Scorpios. I got a phone call. Um, very annoying very annoying that should have definitely been taken care of by my robo killer app anyway um what was i saying and i'm you guys know me i'm not saying relationships are bad but you've been in bad relationships and this person's a reminder of that and you're like oh yeah singlehood can be really nice that's a better way to say it. Singlehood can be really nice. Overall, Scorpios, you do have flamingo spirit. Embrace the in-between. 26 breaking down to an 8. This is about being in transition. This is usually about being in transition and embracing the, the journey of change, the journey you've been on. And I feel like that's what this card is trying to remind you of. Very much with the chameleon spirit. Look at what you've had to deal with so far. Look at where, you, where you've came from, right? Like the kind of person you were in the beginning of this relationship with this person whenever it first started for you and other relationships you've had and how far you've come and how far you've changed and how you were able to roll with the punches and knowing that this isn't the end of your romance journey right you still got a lot of time ahead of you you still have other options you guys have that seven of cups and it's like wow I've improved a lot I've been through a lot I can deal with a lot right it, it's really actually giving you a big confidence booster after you get past the anger and defensiveness part, right? But just know that. Just know that. You've been through worse and you've grown a lot because of it, okay? Um, <laughs> I really think a lot of you are not going to be dealing with this person anymore. For those that decide to, it's your decision. It's your life. Everyone's in a, in a very different situation, their own personal situation. But from the way these energies have been laid out and all that defensive energy I was feeling from you, Again, some of you were dealing with a true blue narcissist. You're done. You don't have any love for them anymore, okay? So just keep that in mind. All right, Scorpios, I hope that was insightful and helpful. Don't forget to check out Patreon, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I will see you guys later, okay? Bye, Scorps. Namaste.